Hi, I'm Joe, the developer of Kayak First Pedal Machines. Let me explain why you should use a pedal machine. There is no need for it. During the winter, your training should be based on weightlifting, running and swimming. There was no pedal machine before. What has worked so far will still work in the future. Are you sure? What? No, 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 no. I don't think so. In each sport, the sport-specific movement is practiced during the whole year. Our winter training was born out of necessity. If we would use pedal machines in the winter, we wouldn't lose our sport-specific abilities, the style, the specific strength and endurance. Tell me, if you could paddle all year long, wouldn't you? This is not paddling, there's no water. I see. Treadmill is not a running track. Spinning is not cycling. The rowing machine is not rowing. I see. I get the joke, I get the joke. I just don't like it, huh? Anyway, you can paddle in the winter as well. Maybe, but it's too complicated. We already had a paddle machine before, but it took up so much space. Exactly. That's why one of the three most important goals during the development of our machine was to make it as small as possible. You can use three Kayak First Paddle machines or even store ten in the place of only one machine from any other brand. The shaft is too short. In reality, the paddle is longer. There is a reason for this, of course. On the water, the force is not applied at the end of the paddle, but somewhere in the middle of the blade. On the paddle machine, the applied force is concentrated precisely at the end of the shaft, so the paddle machine's shaft should be much shorter than the paddle. The pulley is not in the right place. It's supposed to be down there where the water would be. Coach, you have highlighted the second most important result of our development from a professional point of view. The biggest flaw of other paddle machines is that the water catch happens too late. If the pulley is low, the end of the shaft is not at the proper angle compared to the pulley. The stroke starts late, somewhere in the middle of the pulling movement. When the rope is tensioned, only then can the force be applied. When kayaking on the water, the paddle reaches the water at the angle of about 60 degrees. So, you don't only pull the shaft, but you also push it down when the stroke starts. This is why you should never choose a paddle machine without a high pulley. The perfect water field is supported by an extra sliding bench, what only Kayak First offers you. Okay, okay, but it must be too expensive. Affordable price is the third most important feature of our machines. And what else is there? Exciting design and wide range of colors. And what about dragon boat, paddleboard and canoe paddlers? We produce a universal paddle machine. Think, change, improve.